Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Sandy with Mimi's Abundant Life, Back to the Basics. Today, I just wanted to share a thought that I had. This is not going to be a very long video, but I was in the garden, and that's when I do most of my thinking or, or my deep thought. I just kind of get lost in thought, and if you have any kind of garden, whether it's vegetable or or um pretty flowers or whatever it is you do when you're outside if you get that same feeling you know what I'm talking about so I was outside and I started thinking of what a great harvest I have I have tomatoes cherry tomatoes I have more tomatoes now this is just a little smidgen I got some garlic I got a uh, more cucumbers that's going to make about two more jars of pickles or relish. I've got spaghetti squash. I've got corn growing out there. Everything. Everything is starting to come in. And when I think back to what it took to get from a tiny seed to a two-pound tomato, it didn't take much effort. As it took thought and love, nurturing and caring. From the time I prepared the soil to planting the seed, the excitement when the seed first germinated and sprouted. Oh, I was like a little girl at Christmas. <laughs> Look, I got another tomato plant. It's only March. Yeah, I was a little excited. But I can't believe that I did all this from seeds. I know nothing about gardening. I've been doing it uh, on a large scale the last couple of years, since 2020 to be exact. But I do know that the Lord is going to supply me what I need. And not only that, he's going to supply me with what I want. Not in a greedy sense, but I like making my own gravy or tomato sauce. And I'm going to have over 100 tomatoes close to this size. Do you think I'm excited? I love homemade pickles now. I can't eat them in the jar. The Lord blesses me with cucumbers every day. Nothing better than the taste of garlic. And I'll tell you, this is a very, very small bulb of garlic. Very tiny. Like, look. <laughs> It's like it's so tiny it's like my thumb but is very very flavorful it's uh, like five times as potent as the one you buy in the store so I got a couple of those and I'm happy the point I'm trying to make about abundance and happiness your happiness comes from whatever abundance means to you what makes you happy what makes you proud of yourself and your accomplishments? Do you feel like you gave it every effort you have? Because even if I tried and put a thousand times more effort into this garden, and then if, if it failed, I would know that that's from the Lord. And he would find another way to bless me. But I truly believe that I am being rewarded and blessed for my efforts. Now that might sound hypocritical, but hypocritical, but it's really not. Sometimes our heart is in something, but we don't take the steps to accomplish it. I know people that have planted gardens that did a hundred times more than what I did, and they are, everything has failed. So the fact that I didn't put in a thousand percent, I might have put in 80 or 90 percent. I'm still being blessed. And if I was to rate my abundance rating, I'd say it's in the millions. When I see these little tomatoes, when they get real finished ripening inside and I slice them in half or quarters and I put them on the dehydrator, and I'm going to have some dehydrated tomatoes to put on pizza and things like that over the, over the winter. 
when I get an abundance of another crop of strawberries, and I know that I can make strawberry jam and my granddaughters love it, and the smile on their face, that Mimi made jam. And when I see the fresh blueberries go in the pancakes in the morning, to me, that's abundance. I really think that I would be just as happy with what the Lord gave me if he gave me next to nothing. So just because you see all this, <laughs> don't think that I take it all for granted. I really don't. I'm truly blessed with the little knowledge that I have, the knowledge that I acquired, um, the skill, the patience. I put a lot of work into this. Like I said, it may not be. I might have been able to do a little more effort, but so far, so good. Being self-reliant, to me, is also abundance. Relying on the Lord is the only one we should be re really relying on. And then we need to be self-reliant after that. And I really think that that's when true abundance prevails. I hope you like this video. It's something a little different. If you do, please give me a nice thumbs up. Send me a virtual hug and I will send you one back. And don't forget to hit subscribe on my channel and you will get updates a couple of times a week when I put out new videos. And one little footnote I'd like to add is not every video I make is going to be about all the word crises that we're going through. It doesn't have to be, and it doesn't have to be a 45-minute video. Everyone knows, unless you've been living under a rock, everyone knows what's going on. Famine is on the horizon. Wars and rumors of wars. But we need to keep going. Just focus on your abundance, whatever that means to you. Don't get distracted. This is Sandy with Mimi's Abundant Life, back to the basics. And I'm saying bye-bye and God bless you all.